Hey guys, welcome back to the show. May the 4th be with you. Ah, it is May 4th, uh, 2021. And this super art I just put on top was made from someone at the Discord server, uh, Restore from Backup, which is very fun. You can talk film and whatever stuff you want. And this is made by Stuart. I'm leaving his Instagram account just there. If you wanna go say thank you for the art. That was actually the thumbnail for the dark cloth video I made for super film support that never got chosen. So I made a little thing and I posted it there. Then before we go into the sponsors, uh, I'm going to say this, uh, tomorrow is my birthday and I never ask anything, uh, from you guys usually. Uh, but if you would subscribe, I'm about to hit 20,000 subscribers. It'd be a pretty cool birthday gift. I'm not all about numbers, subscriber count and whatnot, but if you feel like it, and you want to help, it'd be great. Probably watching the news, you're subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and share it with some friends. Maybe they can subscribe and we can get to 20K. That'd be pretty fun and a good birthday gift for myself. So the news are being brought to you by a group of photographic retailers and manufacturers who have joined together to support the analog photography media and help keep analog photography thriving worldwide. You know the drill, the brands are plenty. There's still no official name, but the brands are Camera Dactyl, Cosmophoto, Chroma Cameras, Rebeni Labs, Reality So Subtle, Intrepid Cameras, Pixelator, Brooklyn Film Camera, Undo Cameras, Standard Cameras, 20th Century Cameras, Pictorio Graphica, Analog Wonderland, and Sinistil. So thank you to the sponsors. Let's get into the news. Oh, a little funny little news. Camera Dactyl, Ethan Moses has been doing um, laser etched stamps and I asked for one about me on the show just for fun. Ethan's a good friend, stayed with me a, like a year and a half ago. Um, and uh, yeah, he made one. I'm leaving it on screen, super fun. If you order postcards or prints or anything like that, you will be getting something with that stamp on it as soon as he sends it over. I'm gonna be shipping it to Finland because I'm moving and I don't want to get it lost in the mail like the mongoose. Then we have a um, Intrepid and Larger update. It's more than an update. Supposedly, it's just like they finished the campaign, they reached the goal by far, and they were just summing up like the workspace and they're hiring a couple people to help them with that. But there was also a piece of news that's cool if you're not into, if you back the project but you don't read the updates, which I usually don't read too many updates except for the news. Uh, and there's a rebate, a uh, $10 discount for Negative Lab Pro users. As you know, the Intrepid and Larger can also be used to uh, as a light source for digitizing your film. So if you feel like that, maybe you can save those 10 extra bucks if you bought the enlarger. Then um, somebody wrote me a while ago about Silbera making color film and I could not find any information so I never posted it online. So for that person that wrote me to the email, thank you for that email, I'm sorry I never posted about it because I could not find the source. But I finally found on Silbera a film which I check every week that if you hit the tab film, you can see that. I don't know why I was not seeing that. And there's a 50 ISO, 100 ISO, 160 ISO color film made by Silbera. And yes, before you go ahead and think, oh yeah, this must be, you know, cinematography film spooled by them or some expired stuff. No, note what they say on their website. They say this time the film was coded ex specifically for us and may uh, and you may enjoy it for a long period. We supposed to have it in stock permanently. So this is a new color film uh, made for Silbera by, we don't know, um, and the colors look accurate, which is super impressive and interesting. And the 50, 100, and 160 speed are kind of like throwing me off in what could it be? 50 speed, we know that, for example, Cinestill uses Kodak Motion Picture to do the 50 daylight. Maybe that's what it is. We don't know. If somebody shot the Silbera color and has seen the rebate, you can tell me what it says on the film. It says Kodak or it says Silbera or whatever it could say. One thing to note also, I think Blue Moon Cameras has it in stock in the US if you don't want to order it from uh, Russia just in case. Uh, but yeah, it's already hitting the stores and that's pretty cool. Then we have a one instant update. Uh, as you know, one instant peel apart film, FP100C, uh, you know, come back sort of um they've been working on it there's an update they were doing the black and white one instant and i'm a backer of that it was pre-orders they've sold out of pre-orders so they've closed the 300 3333 one shots 
and uh, 20 by 24 studio has getting the formula for the pods pretty much finished so almost done and they've all done the whole pre part of the manufacturing so i think the sleeves and the boxes and all that so whenever the pods and whatnot get there they'll be able to just you know crank out the uh, one instant black and white for those backers pre-sale buyers including myself so that's pretty cool maybe before summer they said i'm not going to put that on stone just in case but it's pretty cool to see that they're finally going to probably do this because they said if they couldn't they would give you the one instant color film which i already own I would love to shoot some of the black and white. Then there's a Valoi update. Uh, Arold sent me through WhatsApp. By the way, if you're a brand and you have info and you don't want to do the email, you can ask for my number. I'll send WhatsApp, Zoom, uh, Signal, uh, whatever you want to talk to me and give me any updates. It would make my work, my job much easier. Valoi, uh, new material for the insert, the film inserts or you know the holders, masks, I would say. Um, is flatter because they were having issues keeping it flat and also darker or blacker if that was a word um he sent me a video which i'm going to put on right now showing the modularity of the design he uses a mask and anti-static rush which is the first time you see it in a video so yeah valoi is coming uh, along and he's told me that the special packaging is also in the way uh, and they might be able to ship by the end of this month, which is good news. Then there's uh, a new lens for Leica M mount, and this is an interesting thing I've never ever seen about. It's called Kiss Star 40mm f2.4. Seems to be available for Sony E mount already, and they're uh, going to be making it for M mount cameras. I'm guessing rangefinder coupled. Uh, and it has a weird, uh, well, weird. It has an interesting uh, character. It's pretty soft, wide open. So at f2.4, it kind of looks like you put like three Pro Mist filters stacked on your lens. And if that's the kind of stuff you want to shoot, that'd be pretty cool. And the 42.4 is not very common. We rarely see that focal length in that aperture. Then processor time, guys. There's a lot of processors here. First off, Aura processor, A-U-R-A. -A. Um, this is a motor based. These are all coming from Facebook, 3D printed analog, uh, something I'll leave the group below. Um, motor base that turns one way. It also does inversion, so it can rotate one way and then stop and do the other way or progressive rotation, which I'm guessing will start at a certain RPM and then go up and then go down. Never done that before. Uh, it can use Jobo 1510 with the extension. I think it's the 1530. The Jobo 1520 tank and Patterson 2 and 4 tanks. I think I'm getting that right. Uh, and it beeps and stops on its own. This is basically a dry processor. And I'm going to differentiate myself. I'm going to create two categories. Uh, it's going to be the dry processors, which mean they can't be submerged in water, and the wet processors. So this is a dry processor. You fill the tank, you put it on the rotating. You click it and it starts spinning sort of like the cyberchrome tank. I don't know what the name of that was right now, but you know which one I mean. Uh, basically just turns it one way, turns it the other way, and you can use these different tanks to develop your film. If you want to use less chemistry or if you're doing color, just bear in mind it won't keep the, temp the temperature of the chemistry inside the tank stable because it's an air or dry uh, processor. So Aura. If you're interested, I'll leave the link below. Then we have Morten Kolbe. Uh, who's been on the news for the will travel cameras and things. He's on very prolific from Norway and he's made a processor too. And I'm going to read you the description, which I copy pasted. Um, this is my in-between solution for Jobo 2500 series tanks on the way towards a rebirth of the do it all film development robot. That's what I want. I want a one button and leave. I love developing film, but sometimes you don't feel like doing the whole thing yourself. Um, simple, straightforward design held together with two with two eight millimeter carbon tubes, a handful of eight six zero eight roller bearings, and all these things. Basically, it's a motor. Also, does the same thing. Spins one way, I think. Spins the other way, and it's on think uh, thing thingiverse. I always say that wrong too. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, this is another one that's available. Also, seems to be a dry processor, so no submerging it in water or you know anything like that then we have the mifo mifo processor 
this one's a wet processor. So basically you submerge the tank in some water and it has an automa automatic rotation timer uh, and it can be used, as I said, in a water bath. It works with Patterson and Nikkor stainless steel tanks. And he said also Jobo, but he doesn't have a Jobo tank to get the diameter so he can make the gear for you if you tell him the size. And this was also seen in this Facebook group. I'm gonna leave links to everything. But I highly recommend you, you you know, if you don't use Facebook, don't. I'll leave the Thinkiverse. But if you use Facebook, you can join this group and get all this information too from there directly. But you'd rather watch the news, I know. Uh, then we have Kodak with their open-mindedness of uh, giving Kodak's name to a lot of people. Making Kodak film cases. Remember, they made the 35 millimeter like retro cases which sold very well. They were like tin um, and they held 35 millimeter film. Now they have the 120 version of that. And let me go to the next page. This one's uh, made to hold eight rolls of 120 film. It can hold four rolls of 120 or five of 35 or 135. And it can also hold 10 rolls of 135 if you want. All of this not together. I mean, eight rolls or four plus five or 10 of 135. It's the same colorful Kodak retro vibe. They're still not really made by Kodak, but more like branded to someone as a Kodak does, you know, stuff like that. Uh, Kodak Laris has nothing to do. You have to buy it through, I think, this website, which I'll leave the link below. Uh, but yeah, if you like retro Kodak para paraphernalia, uh, this is the thing to get. I'm not much of a Kodak like box guy. Plus, isn't it strange that it's eight rolls? Like we buy pro packs and they're five rolls. They should have done five or 10, not eight. It's a random number. Uh, but yeah, just in case, maybe 10 was too big. Then there's another processor. Sorry that I left it out. Uh, the Bonet processor. I've talked about it before. Bonet Photography makes like uh, 3D printed reels and gadgets for the darkroom and the developing phase. And he's been talking about the second version coming soon of his rotating, uh, basically, base. Uh, I hadn't really updated because there was no real update, but that he had a lot of issues and he was coming through with it soon. So this is just to say that I saw it and it will be in the news as soon as it's a physical product I can talk about and tell you all the features and whatnot. But yeah, it's coming. It seems it's changed a little bit. Don't know what the reasons are, but that's it. Like I said, uh, that's the news for this week. Uh, remember, subscribe, share, make your friends subscribe so I can hit 20K tomorrow, which is my birthday, turning 39, just in case you were curious. And yeah, you can always send the information or any email to the email below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the sponsors for keeping the show live and open for everybody. See you next week. Bye.